State health and environmental officials say they are confident in the cleanup progress of the East Palestine uh, train derailment situation. Governor Mike DeWine just wrapped up his third news conference about that incident. It's been a week and a half since that explosion rocked the small Northeast Ohio community. The governor says 50 train cars were affected. 10 of those were carrying hazardous materials. And now there are growing concerns around Ohio about the chemicals released contaminating the state's air and water. NBC 4's Anna Hoffman was at that news conference with the governor just a few moments ago. Anna, should the people of Central Ohio be concerned about their water supply? Jared, state health officials say if you live in central Ohio, this water concern is not relevant to you. Those who should be a little concerned are those in the local East Palestine area. They say if you are feeling any sort of symptoms or just a little bit anxious about what happened, to call for testing and also to drink bottled water. But it is safe to return back to your homes. The Ohio uh, Environmental Protection Agency did report as of February 10th that there were low levels of these hazardous chemicals called butyl acrylate and hexyl acrylate. They also saw no record of vinyl chloride, which is considered to be the most volatile of the chemicals that were found. Officials say the leak started in Beaver Creek and then flowed into the Ohio River. Today I spoke with Columbus Utilities Department and they tell me our local water is not impacted as our water supply does not come from the Ohio River. Officials say they believe a flume of concern is now headed towards the Huntington, West Virginia area. And with every move, these chemicals get less dangerous. The farther it travels down the Ohio River, the more it is dissipating, the less uh, the less concentrated the contaminant plume is. Governor DeWine says he has heard from President Joe Biden and he has offered to help in any way throughout this cleanup effort. He said he did start this news conference off with new information that he had just learned. He says this train was not considered to be high hazardous material train and therefore they did not need to alert Ohio residents of the materials inside the train. The governor called this absurd and he is asking for an investigation. Given the anecdotal stories on social media, many residents in the East Palestine area are are still concerned about returning to their homes. We asked the governor what he would do if he lived in that area, given all that we just learned, and this was his response. Look, look, I, I think that I would be drinking the bottled water, um, and I would be continuing to uh, um, find out what the tests were showing as far as the air. Um, I would be alert and, and concerned, but uh, I think I would probably be back in my house. The governor says he does plan to provide daily updates about the cleanup efforts for as long as it takes. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4. Anna, thank you. And new at 5, Norfolk Southern Corporation says it is providing more than $1 million to more than 700 families impacted by the evacuation near the derailment site. Costs include reimbursements and cash advancements for lodging, travel, food, and clothes. Also included equipment for first responders and continued environmental testing and monitoring.